Hey guys, it's Narell here and welcome back to a new OC bio. Um, this is number eight and in this video you guys will be learning all about Nara aka Rebecca because Rebecca is her real name, fun fact. So um, she really doesn't have any much more fun facts as that because I really wanted you guys to focus more on her background than her as a character. So um, that's weird but we're just going to get on to her facts. Background. So Rebecca comes from a very strict household. Um, her fi her family actually wanted their kids to live up to a standard where they will not be judged because of their kids' actions. So when Rebecca was in high school, she always was pretty. Everyone thought she was pretty, but she really didn't really value her looks as much as other girls. But she really loved the sense of fashion. She really loved the classy yet elegant fashion. And she would start to change her um, clothing style to more classy and elegant. But as soon as she started coming home every day with these type of outfits on, her parents really did question who she really was. And apparently if you dress more sexy, See, people are gonna think you're a hoe like you, you're you're just trying to get attention and that's what her family thought of her and her family legit didn't really want to know if their daughter was that so they just was like hey um we think you need to start dressing the way you used to dress and she was like why what's the problem and her family basically said we don't want you to go outside embarrassing us in front of everyone and she got mad and she went to one of her friends house and when she came back her family threw all of her stuff outside in the yard and they're just like go elsewhere because you're not going to embarrass us and we are we work so hard to get our image and you're not going to embarrass us like this so she literally took all of her stuff went to a bar and basically bummed off a bar because her family's disapproval of who she really was just made her not want to trust anyone anymore. So when Naisho came from his world to observe humans in the human world, she actually put up that guard and actually thought, hey, my parents thought every guy who comes near me will like me for my body. So this guy obviously just wants my body. So every time Naisho would be nice to her, she's like, no, get away from me. And she never really saw his true actions. So, um, when, when the time came for Naisho to leave, she actually did start to develop feelings for him. And she's like, oh my gosh, I treated him so bad when he just wanted to help me out and make sure I was okay. And once Naisho actually told her, hey, I'm going. If you don't want to be with me, if you're not going to sit there and take me seriously, I'm out. And before he left, N Nara, uh, not Nara. Rebecca, I'm so used to calling her Nara, guys. Sorry. Rebecca actually just realizes, hey, this is the only guy probably in the whole world that's going to love me and respect me. So she runs with all of her might to catch him. And she caught him. And she's like, hey, I'm going with you because I realize I love you so much. And you're just the only person who showed me a genuine love for myself. And you accepted me and not judged me based on what I look like so I'm down so like I said in Naisho's bio they end up going to his world her name gets changed to Nara due to the family guidelines of Naisho's family and that's it so while they were there Nara happens to meet Nehru and Nehru honestly hated her at first because he thought she was like another woman that is in his dad's life and tried to be his mother so he was like you're not my mom get away from me and she was honestly really hurt because she honestly really wanted to be best friends with Nehru and really once Nehru saw that she was really hurt by his actions he's like you know what maybe she really is trying to be friends with me so her and Nehru grew so close they did everything together like a mother and a son so in a sense Nara was was the mother he always had had wanted to have so um around the time when she got pregnant she's like Nehru you're gonna have a baby brother he's like oh my gosh like they're so cute <laughs> I 
right there are adorable. So they just kind of fangirl together. And Naisho's like, let me do my work. And she can just have them and go somewhere and just shop for the baby and stuff. So at that time, they were happy. But when the time came real and when Nara realized, I'm going to die from this kid. She actually told Nehru, hey, I may not make this pregnancy. And that's hard to tell a kid. But he already knew that. He already saw the signs. And Nehru just was like, no, I don't want to leave you and lose you at the same time and before she had Naru she was like hey Naru I know I'm not gonna make it but please name the kid Naru that's the name I've always had for him so name him Naru and treat him well and just give him all your love and attention that I have showed you and that's really all that she said before she died so that's Nara it's sad but she's honestly one of my favorite female characters and I love her. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.